Today, I'm just gonna be flipping through one of my altered book art journals. This one is originally a book uh, based on Greek mythology, but it's not anymore because I have wrecked it with art. So uh, I'll give you some tips and tricks that I use as we go. Uh, one thing that you'll want to do if you're using a book like this is gesso. Uh, just a really watered down translucent gesso helps make the pages stronger. You can kind of see the texture and feel it a little bit. You can hear it. Uh, see like this is a normal page. Um, but yeah, so that helps make the page a lot sturdier. And I found that these kind of letter stickers, you can get them at any craft store, uh, especially if you check out the scrapbooking sticker section, you can find it. I also go through magazines and stuff if there's fun kind of fonts or advertising. You can always cut up the words and put them in different order. Uh, quick. Let's look really boring. And it's this guy yelling at all of these people. Dover does books of copyright free imagery that you can purchase or you can get it digitally. Oh, it's sticking a little bit. There we go. Uh, this is from a children's book. I like to go to thrift stores and get kind of fun fairy tale books and stuff like that. These are more um, letter stickers. Mooka, it's one of Mooka's sketches that I got from a Dover copyright free imagery book. This is a print that I made uh, from a sign that says danger of death keep out. If you have been to England, that's kind of the signs that they have telling you not to go into areas that have electrical equipment. This is some washi tape here. Washi tape is really fun. It can add a lot of uh, just kind of unique patterns and, and bits. These are little leaves that have since lost their color. More leaves. One of those fish. I don't know if when you were a kid, uh, if you are around my age, which would be mid thirties, uh, there are these little red fish that read your fortune, kind of, and you'd put it in your palm and however it reacted would tell you about your future, apparently. And just some more found imagery. This is text that was actually in the book itself that I just highlighted and then kind of covered the rest of the pages. Over here, I have these old magazines that I got from my grandmother that are teaching magazines from the 1940s, so around war era, and it has a lot of vintage advertisements in them that I like to include. Here's some text from a Cinderella story. The stepmother did not like Cinderella. She made her work very hard every day. Oh, here we go. So this is the actual illustration that was in the book itself. I think that that's the gray ones or the Gorgon. I think he stole their eye. They all share an eye and he stole it. But I added in the teacup, these waves, the coloring and the branches kind of extending out are all additions I made. And then most of this page is all collaged. Again, you wanna gesso each page before you start because that's what's going to keep it sturdy so it doesn't tear. Freedom of speech doesn't apply to you now, sweetheart. Uh, again, we have really fun letter stickers those are great if you're like me and you don't particularly like your handwriting. 
but you enjoy using words. This is another bit from, well, as is these two, as are these two, uh, more just kind of children's activities from those vintage teaching magazines. This is a sketch that I did of a heart in a, like a human anatomical heart. Have some waves. Sharp-edged tools are not playthings. Handle them with care. It has all these really fun instructions like, don't ride your bike in front of trucks. In the background here, you can see all of the actual story that was originally on the page. Most of it is covered up here with this il um, illustration or drawing that I did of a cat, just a close-up of a cat face. This is a cutout from a children's book of Goldilocks. I assume she's sitting in, I don't know, one of, one of the bear's chairs that didn't work. Over here, it's just very textural acrylic, like a liquid acrylic that kind of gave me that tree-like look. And then the brown is also painted in. Keep your mouth clean. I just added that because it went with the illustration of the, the little boy brushing teeth. And then here we have more fun kind of vintage illustrations. I really enjoy vintage, uh, the vintage style of things. However, the vintage aesthetic was not particularly inclusive to other uh, non-white, cis, heteronormative uh, aesthetics. But then I just sort of feel like I failed again as if normal life has expectations that I only understand properly on good days. So this page is a bit of self-reflection. I have uh, anxiety and depression. I'm pretty open about it if you know me as a, as a human in the world, because I think it's important to be honest about those kinds of mental health issues because it helps to destigmatize them when you know real individuals who do uh, live with those. Artist of imperfection. Over here, uh, I like to get vintage kind of pulp romance novels and stuff, those short fictions that are very... I've, I've never even really read many, but the covers are so delightfully silly that I really like to uh, include pieces of those. These are stickers of butterflies. So over here we have the original illustration, which would be Perseus holding up the head of Medusa. But I've kind of added in different vintage faces that kind of cover it. This is washi tape here on the side and here. We have some more letter stickers. If we ignore the past, it will go away, which feels just as kind of relevant now as it did when I made this journal, probably, oh my goodness, 2014, maybe? But you can see how I've altered the image that was already there. Over here, this is another Dover copyright free image that I got that's an Art Nouveau poster, but I added the different photo of the woman, which really kind of changes the style of it. This was from a vintage photo of a soldier that I got when I was living in England at an antique store. It will go away, right? I think this is one of my favorite spreads in this book. I just found this caution, caution wet paint uh, sign somewhere along the way. I think it just ended up in the street or something. 
but I liked it, so I picked it up and took it home. This is an image that would be on one of those covers of those books I was talking about, those kind of romance little paperbacks that you get. This is actually a fabric paper, this kind of blue one. This is washi tape, the brown. This is from a fashion, a Dover copyright free book that had different French fashions through the, through the decades. And of course, uh, The White Rabbit from Alice in Wonderland. Uh, if you do things like this where you make an angle, you kind of automatically give the implication of a room or you automatically give the sense of a foreground and a background, which I found very useful over the years if you're trying to create a sense of space in your visual journal page. So over here, again, you can see hints of the uh, story beneath. Uh, a white rabbit ran close by her. Run! So more fun lettering, as well as some text that I took from a children's book. And over here, oh, let's see here. There we go. Over here, this background text is actually in Portuguese. I found some papers in an abandoned building when I was exploring around uh, Tercera, which is one of the Azorian Islands. We're just in this abandoned house, so I took them to use in my art. This is an old postcard that I took part out, but then added some stuff. No such limitations on ideas. Over here, we have a bit of Sleeping Beauty with the prince and kind of her sitting, but I replaced the face with this one. And we have some of the original text on the page showing, dear girl, pray don't cry about it. Fact, don't trust men lurking in the woods, which kind of relates to this because I thought that that was funny because really you shouldn't trust men lurking in the woods. Uh, this is a vintage postcard as well. This is again, the illustration that came on the page, but I've changed out the faces a Harlequin book. Uh, this particular book has a lot of really deep dark colors. I don't always work with that dark of a color palette. It just kind of happened for this one. Another thing you can do is just cross out the original text if you want that lighter color of the page to still show through. This is some paper I had of Ocean Waves. Again, here I mixed my stickers. So these are two different sets of, of stickers. And to tell you the truth, he said, I drew in these leaves with marker. I like to use Faber-Castell India ink pens and then various Golden and Liquitex acrylics are some of my favorites. Here we have more washi tape. And here is washi tape as well, these ones. Also over here, you can't see it quite as well because I kind of painted over it, but you can get the hint of those. This was part of the um, illustration that was originally on the page but I've taken and made it part of a whole different kind of image. Or oh, to freedom, and I won't turn and let it fall again. The beating of her heart, whether she had heard anything. Been a very ingenious person. What else? I like to usually put wax paper in between my pages to prevent them from sticking, which is a trick I highly recommend. A friend of mine sent me some candy from Japan. Again, we have the white rabbit theme that's kind of gone through different pages. 
Over here in the background, we have a page from a different book that was kind of a British book of various facts and information, kind of a, not a farmer's almanac, but like that kind of a thing where it gives you sort of the report on various things throughout that year. Pandora raised the lid. The cottage grew very dark. You silly, silly girl. So over here, what I did is I took a drawing that I had done and I put a, a matte medium over it. And after that dried, I peeled off part of the back of the paper so it was really thin. And so because of that, you can get hints of the image that's actually behind this. It makes it slightly translucent. Kind of have an implied dark cityscape here, as well as kind of these drips. I think this woman was originally playing a harp or something. So she already had these kind of hand movements and I just wanted to include them to kind of incorporate the image that she's in. I apologize if you can hear traffic noise. Uh, my apartment is on a fairly busy street, so there's usually just a lot of traffic coming through. Here we have a cage that I cut out of a, it was a piece of like fancy paper that had all these cages, so I cut that out. Hope spiritualizes. This kind of angel creature was already here, but I added a different face to it. Again, if you want to play with text that already exists on the page, this is a very easy way to do it. I changed it to this, this. I cannot possibly imagine when the sun arose, it shone brightly down with vast delight and dance. We have my ribbon. We can put that over here. All right, so we have some more kind of just illustrations and stuff cut out of magazines and found books. Sugar of lead. Palace Drugstore. I don't feel things are ever going well. As you can tell, this particular journal kind of came out of me dealing with some different turmoil in my life and just kind of trying to understand my position with where I was in my marriage at the time, but just kind of trying to understand how to see the world. These are leaves. I actually have these kind of skeleton leaves that you can buy sometimes at craft stores that are there, but then I also took the textured paper and cut out leaf shapes, leaf shapes with them. So you have kind of leaves on leaves. This is part of just different buildings. You can find those in vintage books and magazines and stuff. You can kind of mix and match them and that can also give you a sense of depth so for example here we have the larger building that's up close oh i'm sorry for those construction noises sensitive soul i also have trains nearby so i have all sorts of fun distracting noises in the background here you can see hints of the original illustration in the book as well as this kind of map. It has part of Montana in it. I'm originally from Montana. So we have kind of Great Falls, Missoula, Helena, Bozeman, Billings, Boise, Idaho, Mas uh, Moscow, Idaho, Twin Falls. So everyday life was between identification. We had this kind of woman just hanging out naked like you do, I guess. Again, I really like just the hint of the text underneath. 
where it's not really a main part of the page, but it still exists enough to provide some aesthetic that contributes to the look of it. Here I have more, this is acrylic ink that kind of spreads like this. I found imagery, if they win, to this page. The Betty is running to the house. Only our dead are free. This one I think is really funny just because I put the um, kind of, oh, all the king's horses, all the king's men, Humpty Dumpty, uh, kind of on place of her head. And it just worked in a way where he's like pushing her face or pushing his face away. It's kind of absurdist, but I enjoy that about it. This is a, a mirror that I cut out of a magazine, but it attaches as the head of this woman and the female figure kind of fades into the background. You don't notice it right away. Then we have the woman here attached to the rabbit head. And then one mistake. Your queen looked off with their heads, cried the queen and the procession was off. So again, that's clearly some text that I took from an Alice in Wonderland book. These are stickers that I got from a scrapbooking section. Allow truth from theirs. Censorship is still American. Originally, I believe it said censorship is still un-American but uh, it's not, we censor a lot. So I think I was kind of playing off of that. Ride on the right side of the street. This was a weird book that had these different kind of professions of, you know, uh, white, white men doing all of the professions because that's the time that this, particular book was written. It is okay. I am a woman. Why should I receive equal pay for equal work? So clearly I'm being a bit snarky at that. In the background is an actual receipt from this repair company that I found somewhere along the way. This quiz Fifteen dollars. Uh, this is a receipt from a place in Paris. Uh, anyway, we had two drinks, and our total, after tax and everything, was fifty-seven dollars, which just felt insane. Uh, they know we don't belong. This is a vintage photo uh, that I got when I got a bunch of old photos from my grandfather who was in the army. And again, this is part of one of those old books, the Harlequin romance novels. They know we don't belong here. At last, the dreadful machine left. So this is a sketch I did of some bird, or this is a sketch of a bird I did. Here's another bird. This is kind of an implied uterus here with this woman kind of falling down into a shell. In my life, art is my weapon of choice. I think that if you're somebody who does art, you kind of sometimes feel like it's your only voice that really truly expresses how you feel. And I know that that's ultimately what this journal was about, was just trying to express various feelings. And then this is just what the actual book looked like originally. So this is one of the original illustrations that I haven't done anything with other than just kind of contaminate the paper with color. And that is my Greek myths altered book art journal.